Now we're talking. Now Dodge is dropping some serious heat. 2023 Dodge Charger Super B model, the highest performance Charger Super B model ever produced, comes with drag radials, adaptive dampening suspension, SRT hood with functional scoop, SRT black exhaust tips, and ladies and gentlemen, we finally have a drag mode option for 392. That's correct, drag mode. This car is basically a Dodge Charger 1320. And it comes in a wide body and a slim body. Let's talk about it. What's going on guys? This is your boy Knockout360 here with another video for you guys. So if you can tell I'm in a car, that makes us a car blogger. You know what's going down when I come around. Let's get into a car content, car shows, car reviews, car meets, anything and everything car related also happens on this channel. So if you're into that, make sure that you stick around because you are in the right place. For everyone else, hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you know what's coming out and when it's coming out. So let's talk about it. Dodge just dropped number two. The second of seven last call models for 2023. The first one was the shakedown that nobody cared about. Now they are going to be dropping the 2023 Dodge Charger Super B. That's correct. Super B. I didn't say Scat Pack. I said Super B. Uh, Super B first came out in what? 1968 on the Plymouth, not a Dodge. That's a Plymouth, not a Dodge. All right. First show to take in 1968 on the Plymouth. And then it came back in 2012. And uh, for several years thereafter, uh, and then it disappeared out of nowhere once Dodge started dropping the scats and the SRT 392s. But it's back, guys. It is back. Super B is back, and it's coming on the Charger. Now, dig this. It's coming in two color variants and two wide body slash non wide body variants as well. So let me break it down to you. Uh, what they're going to be doing here is a thousand of these will be made, 1,000, right? So literally 1,000 out of the whole world will get 2023 Dodge Charger Super B models. Half of those will be the standard width chargers, which is basically the slim body chargers, which will be painted in B5 blue. So half will be B5 blue, slim body, and it's gonna have blue graphics. And the other 500 or the other half is gonna be scat packs with wide body, right? With the wide body. And it's gonna come in plum crazy with white graphics. So half of them are going to be B5 blue, slim body. The other half is going to be plum crazy purple, wide body. Um, the standard models will get 275 millimeter drag radials on 20 by 9 and a half wheels. And the wide bodies will get 315s, bro. 315s, which is what I got all around on this bad boy. 315 uh, on 18 by 11 drag, radio, uh, drag wheels, I'm sorry. So the slim bodies will get 275s all the way around. And the wide bodies will get 315s all the way around. 315s similar to what I got on my bad boy right now. A lot of you guys were asking, are 315s too big? Do they rub? No, they do not. And now Dodge is producing them. So the slim bodies are getting the drag radials 275 on 20 by 9.5 inch wheels. The wide bodies will be getting 315s on 18 by 11 inch wheels. Um, Oh, so it's 18. So 18. So we're not getting 20s anymore. You're getting 18s on a wide body. So a smaller rim, but a much bigger, much bigger tire. Uh, I know you're wondering. Um, same power, same 392 engine. Um, 392 engine spins out 485 horsepower, 475 pound feet of torque, eight speed automatic transmission. Sounds familiar, right? Why? Because that's the same engine that Dodge has been giving us since 2015. Uh, what else do we have here? So let's talk about it. Uh, so it's going to come standard with drag radials, right? Which are meant straight for the drag strip. Let's be honest here. Uh, not only that, but it comes with adaptive, adapt, excuse me, adaptive, adaptive dampening suspension, right? Comes with SRT hood with the functional scoop. So if you guys remember the first generation wide body Hellcats, you remember that hood? The first generation 2020 wide body Hellcats, that's going to come on the Super B charger, right? So first generation wide body Hellcat hood is going to come on a Super B. Um, dual heat extractors, which is that, you know, SRT hood that comes on the, the 2020s with functional scoop. Uh, SRT black exhaust tips. So those exhaust tips in the back, which most people, first thing they do is they cut them off and put bigger exhaust tips. Naturally, uh, badges and emblems will be strategically placed inside and out. So basically, you'll get your Super B emblem on the seats, on the dash. Super B, Super B uh, uh, animation on the uh, DID, and then it'll it'll say Super B on the side instead of Scat Pack or whatever the case may be. And then of course, uh, drag mode, drag mode. That's what leads me to believe that this is similar to, if not basically just the Charger version of the 1320. Because if you've ever sat inside of a 1320, 
uh, Charger, oh, I'm sorry, Challenger 1320. 1320 has the uh, the more aggressive suspension, which is geared towards drag racing, right? More so drag racing than just kind of, you know, in general performance. Um, it's also got a uh, different hood, if I'm not mistaken, on the challenges. I could be mistaken. Uh, SRT options, all that stuff. But more importantly, it's got a drag mode. And if you're familiar with drag mode, drag mode comes on the Demons, I believe. Um and 1320s i think those are the only two variants that gets a drag mode is the demon and a 1320 a lot of people call the 1320 a baby demon so now we've got the demon with the drag mode uh i think maybe the super stock super stock might get the drag mode as well i don't remember so demon challenger 1320 and now the charger super b right and the super b it looks like they're going to drop only a thousand of them so it's going to be very very limited quantity only a thousand 500 will be b5 blue in the slim body i don't know why they did that but there i guess there's some people out there that still want a slim body charger and the other 500 will be in plum crazy purple wide body the slim body is going to get 275s all the way around drag radials the whole nine and the wide body is going to get 315s all the way around i think it's dope man um you know i i always wish that you know more power uh would come to the dodge but i mean you know it is what it is, man. I think Dodge is pretty content with that 392 Hemi. I don't think that they're ever going to change that up. I don't think they're ever going to increase the power on that. Uh, at this point, we're so late in the game where they're like, listen, we're just going to give you the engine and be happy you're getting that. So at this point, we've gotten two 6.4 engines. The first one was the Challenger Shake uh, Shakedown 6.4 uh, that came in the wide body and the slim body variant. And now we're getting another 6.4 in the Charger, the Super B, wide body and a slim body variant. Uh, and of course that one was the second of the last call, the seven mysterious cars, the mystery cars that Dodge is going to be dropping. I think it's dope. You know, um, it looks like a charger. There's really nothing different about it other than the hood. Like I said, that hood is going to have that 2020, uh, uh, charger Hellcat hood. Uh, the emblem on the side is going to be just a B. So it's not going to be a 392 emblem or Hemi emblem. It's going to be a B. Uh, on the side, however, the graphics on the side, I'll put the picture up right now. I think that should be pretty dope. It's going to say Super B in the corner. For the uh, Plum Crazy, it's going to be in white. And for the uh, B5 Blue, it should be in blue as well. So they're going to have blue on blue and then white on blue. All right? Um, but yeah, I dig it, man. I think, you know, it's time for the Charger, I guess, to get like a 1320 edition Charger kind of thing. Uh, I think it's dope. You know what I'm saying? I think it's just uh, another thing for Dodge to throw out. At this point, you can kind of tell that they're just pretty much, you know, cleaning out the closet and throwing everything out. I mean, they probably could have released the Super B a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? But it's one of those things where in this last year, they've got to get rid of everything. So we got the Shakedown. We got the Super B. Nobody knows what's next. But I think it's dope, man. I mean, um, you know, we're getting a drag-specific charger which is great to come to the line because uh, Challenger gets everything. They get the drag specific Challenger with the Demon and then they got the, you know, the, the 1320 Scat Pack uh, Dodge um, drag uh, muscle car, whatever the case may be. And then they never gave Charger anything. I mean, we got the Hellcat and of course, uh, you know, the Red Eye, the Jailbreak, all that stuff. But we never got a specific uh, 1320 um, Charger you know and of course this looks like that's it i mean this is the equivalent of a uh, dodge challenger 1320 just in the charger form i dig it i think it's dope um you know i'm glad dodge is doing something for the charger i'm interested to see it this is number two so i would imagine number three should be uh coming around the corner pretty soon uh at this point it seems like they're dropping these cars every week they just dropped the shakedown last week they're gonna drop the charger this week we'll get something next week uh so based on the trend that they're going with right now it doesn't look like any of these cars will be getting power upgrades or power updates or anything like that. More than likely, it'll just be them dropping a whole bunch of trends, a whole bunch of trims. You know what I'm saying? Um, different trims, different graphics package, maybe a different hood, bigger rims, bigger tires, um, you know, colored exhaust tips, colored interior options. Uh, maybe some some interest, some you know extra stuff that they can do to the Uconnect system. But, you know, I don't think that they're going to be giving us a 550 horsepower 392 or a crazy Hellcat or something like that. Not until we see whatever they got under the uh, hood with that SEMA edition, man, for the seventh one. But um, 
2023 Dodge Charger Super B. I can't, I'm not mad at it. Personally, those are not my favorite colors, the Plum Crazy and the B5 Blue. But I know a lot of you guys dig that. So I'm interested to see uh, who gets one of the thousand because it's literally only going to be a thousand, 500 and 500 worldwide. So good luck getting your hands on that. But there's always the mini boy knockout 360, man. Dodge just dropped number two of seven. So, um, you know, we'll stay tuned to see what they got coming forward. See you in the next one. Peace.